Hey, Tyler, that's right. Revenue's up about 13% year on year, but that was outpaced by a 14% rise in expenses, which you mentioned squeezed profits for McDonald's. The fast food giant said on its earnings call today that costs for paper goods and food increased by 4% in 2021. That will roughly double in the U.S. in 2022 to high single or low double digits, with the bulk of the impact there being felt in the first half of the year. Incentive-based compensation also led to higher costs in the quarter. Now, McDonald's did report U.S. same-store sales increased seven and a half percent beating analyst expectations. This was in part to what the company called, quote, strategic menu price increases, as well as promotions, including the McRib and the crispy chicken sandwich platform. Labor costs, of course, also an issue, although staffing at restaurants has improved in recent weeks, with just about one percent of its stores impacted at the moment with shorter hours. Drive through times have gotten longer due to those staffing challenges, but that drive through business, of course, remains essential due to the lingering pandemic. Wages increased about 10% last year at McDonald's. Franchisees also concerned about labor and costs. Kalinowski Equity Research out with a survey this week with some franchisees saying that they expect to start seeing resistance from customers on pricing. That's something that McDonald's was actually able to avoid last year as menu prices increased about 6% overall. Their CEO, Chris Kempchinski, said they hadn't really seen any pullback, so it remains to be seen what that looks like this year. Kate, what are you hearing from other companies that do kind of what McDonald's does? Yeah, so the, the big one we've heard from so far was Domino's at the ICR conference. They were saying the food basket inflation for the year is up between 8 and 10 percent, which is unprecedented. They're doing some unique things there. Instead of raising prices on one of their $7.99 promos, for example, they're offering just eight chicken wings instead of what they would normally offer, which is 10. So they're pulling back and reducing some of the size of the food that's being offered in those combo deals. McDonald's is really the first big name to report. So we've got a few weeks ahead of us with many more companies to come and we'll keep you posted on what everyone says. Yeah, I'm sure the commentary will be fascinating to see how it's playing out across the restaurant area. Kate, thanks.